Ow, ow. Hey, God. <laughs> Another scam again. Another scam again. Five billion naira. Five billion naira. Not five hundred thousand. Not five hundred. Not five million naira. Five billion naira. Another scam again. How? How? For how long are we going to continue to fool ourselves in this country called Nigeria? Another palliative scam again, long come. Before I go further with the news, please, if you have not followed my page, please, I'm begging you, I'm on my knees begging you, try and follow my page. It will do you a lot of good. I have a lot of good is coming your way, but one step at a time. So, if you have not followed me, please follow my page for more updates and news and things happening around you. So, let's go straight to the news. I just opened my, my social media and I saw what Governor of Borono State, even where I glass <laughs> may come my face so that tomorrow, if you have say, you see my face, not my real face be this. And I believe that the federal government has approved 5 billion naira to be shared to each state about this first subsidy removal and the, the hunger that is in the country. How many people will, will, will receive this money? Hi, God. For how long are we going to be fooling ourselves in this country called Nigeria? How? It's not. If I let me not talk too much, let me allow you to watch the video. Then, after watching the video, you must still come back and narrate some things I learned from this video and also put some, some comments people commented on this particular video. But please like, comment, share, and follow. Thank you so much. Let's watch the video together. Let's go. <laughs> As express serious concerns as regards increasing cost of food items, increasing cost of transportation, amongst others, as a result of subsidy removal. In order to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal, the federal government of Nigeria has released five trucks of rice to each state last week. Furthermore, in order to cushion the effect of food shortages across the country, the federal government has approved the sum of 5 billion naira to be given to each state for the procurement of 100,000 bags of rice, 100,000 bags of rice, 40,000 bags of maize, and fertilizers. Uh, this funding has to be shared with the formula as follows. 52% of this money is given to states as grants, while 48% of the 5 billion naira is to be paid back on an installment basis within a period of two years, 20 months, to the CBN by the states and the local government areas in Nigeria. The Council has commended the effort of the federal government under the leadership of President Tenebu, as well as the CBN. And we have also commended the efforts of NEMA in cushioning the effect of the subsidy removal. Council has taken bold decision in order to ensure speedy release of grants and other items in order to cushion the effect of subsidy removal to the less privileged in the society. Council has also take note, taken note of the 800 million US dollars loan and should be strictly used for its intended purpose and based on accurate and acceptable register. The 800 million announced by the President will go to Nigerians in accordance with an accurate social register. Furthermore, Council has also noted the package that was announced by the President in order to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal amounting to about 500 billion naira. And 
this fund has to be distributed to the following sectors, MSMEs, industrial sector, cash transfer, about 125 billion naira will go to cash transfer, agricultural sector as well as gas expansion for buses. Because of the increasing cost of fossil fuel, the federal government has intended to establish more gas stations in Nigeria, procure more gas-powered buses, CNG buses, as well as electric buses in order to cushion the effect of the subsidy renewable. Furthermore, NEMA will also liaise with states to distribute foodstuffs to the people immediately, especially those that are affecting uh, the frontline states that are bordering the Niger Republic because of influx of refugees. The council has also tax the state to dialogue with the labor union's leadership. Uh, a committee made up of a number of state governor, NGF chairman, uh, and others have been nominated to interface with labor. Uh, the most important thing that the council has taken note is that all these palliatives that are being mentioned now are temporary solutions. Council has decided to invest on medium and longer term sustainable solutions that will ensure availability of food and non-food items in Nigeria, especially investing in commercial agriculture and also investing in irrigated agriculture. NEC is calling on Nigerians and indeed labor to become law abiding as the president is determined to address the issues at hand. Thank you very much. <laughs> so guys, have you watched the video now? But what I'm confused about is even COVID-19 when they shared palliative many people didn't even receive many people don't even know that there's something about uh, they call palliative they, they packed everything in the garage and when people were dying of hunger out of hunger people went and started busting all these government uh, warehouses to start taking food for them for them to survive at, at least and now governor of Burundi state have come again with this so-called standard four night scam of five billion naira to be shared to each state hi Anyway, my people, I don't know, I don't even know I'm speechless in this particular news. When I heard that, I said, no, 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 I need to bring it to your own notice away because so many of you don't even know. And it's not, it's not yesterday, it's not even today. Since last week, it was approved since last week, but see now, no, uh, I know, I'm sure that it's not everybody who is aware of it. Just look at the comment people are commenting. Just look at it. I've been putting some in the video while I was playing before. Just look at it. So in your own wise opinion, your own thought, what do you think about this particular thing? It's unfair now. How, we be, how, how long can we continue to be fooling ourselves in this country called Nigeria? It's unfair. So please, like, share and comment. Also, let me know what you think about this particular video you just watched now. And also, I always beg, if there's something I'm not doing right, please, you can inbox me, I reply on messages, I reply or comment. So you can inbox me or you can comment down the video. I will take some corrections. So thank you so much for watching. See you in my next videos. Bye.